Hi, good afternoon, my name is Rick, and today I'm going to show you around this Volvo XC90 D5 Active 2.4 diesel with an automatic transmission on a 2010 covering 103,000 miles. Just come complete with two keys, three previous owners of the logbook, original book packets in the car, uh, finished off in black sapphire metallic. Full documented service history all the way through, last being done in um, April of this year, 101. We'll still put it through our RAC approved workshop for a fresh mechanical check and service prior to sale. Uh, MOT is also uh, May next year, so plenty of tests as well. What I'm going to do first of all is walk you around the car nice and quick. On the second time round, we'll get into a bit more detail of the car itself. It has just come into us via part exchange and been washed off for photo and video purposes. We are brutal honest with our photos and videos as we do use them to help us prepare our vehicles. I've got to say the previous owners looked after the vehicle on first look round um, for the age and mileage of the car. So when we get back around to the front, we're going to look at the panel work in greater detail. We'll start at the near side arch and work our way around the vehicle. I will point out any dents, chips, scrapes or scratches, any damage at all that I see and what we're wishing to do to it prior to sale. Okay then, let's get started. So, front arch looks to be in good condition. Front door and rear door both good. Two very small pin dents which we'll get our dead doctor to rectify prior to sale. But other than that, they look good. Uh, the lower rail is in good condition and over that rear wing and quarter looks good. Front alloy wheel, a couple of light age related marks but generally in really good condition with a Wrangler front tyre approximately 4 to 5 millimetres of tread remaining. That's the one of the dents, the other one you probably won't see on the camera. Moving to the rear then, rear alloy Again, good condition, just a couple of age related marks. A good year tire at the back, almost new, probably about seven millimetres of tread remaining. I'll just cover back down from the back to the front just to make sure I've not missed anything, but other than a couple of small dints, that near side looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle, we'll check out the plastics, lights, etc. Uh, rear sensors and twin tailpipes, as you can see. Plastics all look good. Tiny mark there just to touch in prior to sale. Loading is good also. And moving up, the lights and the tailgate, in fairness, look really good. No problems with the screen. And along that roof, looks to be free of damage also. We'll work our way down the driver's side now. We'll go from the back to the front this time. So over around the fuel cap, and over the arch looks good. Couple of small marks just to touch and polish up prior to sale. Both doors look to be in good condition. One very small pin dent in the front door, which again will get rectified uh, from our dent doctor. And that rail also looks good. Rear alloy, good conditioned alloy. Just some light corrosion marks. And that rear tire, approximately three millimeters of tread remaining. If it is any lower, we will replace that in our preparation. Moving to the front, front alloy is in good condition. Another Wrangler tire at the front, almost new, about five to six millimeters of tread remaining. You will just notice there is a scuff on this plastic, so we'll get that refinished in our body shop prior to sale. And just working our way back down, just to make sure I've not missed anything. But generally speaking, for the age of mileage, it's looking in good condition. We'll work our way around the front now, we'll check out the lights, grills, etc. So driver's headlight is good. Bumper corner, one touch up to do just there on the corner, but other than that, he's in good condition. Moving our way around the bottom, the grill is free of any damage, and this bumper corner is also good. Passenger headlight is good, and you can, as you just drop down so you can see it, all lines up really well. Main grill is free from any damage, and bonnet looks to be in good condition. A couple of small stone chips, as you'd expect but nothing major at all. We'll move up towards the windscreen. Slight peppering just with the age, but no chips to note that would need any filling prior to sale. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you inside the vehicle. We'll start off in the boot and work our way through. So, it is the boot that opens 
top and bottom, as you can see. And obviously here's a seven seater. Moving into the back now. So the rear bench seat looks good. A few slight wear marks as you'd expect, but nothing major. Two outer seats look like Isofix as well. Looking at the picture, carpets look to be in good condition. Backs of the seats also look good. And then moving into the back, the two rear seats all look to be in good condition. All the headrests in place also. I move into the front now. So driver's door card is good. Passenger door card also good. We have got a couple of slight wear marks just to the outer seat on both seats. But other than that, the bolsters are pretty firm and holding their shape. Uh, the plastic has broken here. So if we can't repair that, we will put a new section on it. It is literally just a plastic cover. And I'll move inside the vehicle. So 103.961 is the miles. Radio obviously working, CD player and FM radio, dual climate control, and then you've got your switch for your parking sensors just there. Automatic transmission, cup holders, an armrest, multifunction steering wheel, with your music controls on one side, your cruise control on the other, full electric windows, front and back, all your light switches, etc., down there. Obviously, with it being a Volvo, has the foot brake down there. Um, if you'd like some further information or to book a view in a test drive, etc., please give us a call at Ebony and Ivory. Just ask for the sales department and we'll look after you as best we can. Thank you very much for watching.